Afternoon Fantasy Bay, Mike Williams here, and today we're going to be going over your waiver wire selections for week nine. Let's get it started. So uh, I'm going to start with quarterbacks. Daniel Jones came out and had himself a day, 36 fantasy points. Uh, he's going against the Cowboys. I think that he should, uh, that should be a pretty decent matchup for him. Saquon Barkley back. We got um, Golden Tate, and then my boy Slayton. Came in out of nowhere, scoring those touchdowns last week. Uh, he played well. Um, Daniel Jones played well this week. He had four passing touchdowns, 41 attempts. That's a decent amount. That's, yeah, that's a decent amount. Uh, 322 passing yards. I think he'd be fine for this week. Uh, Garner Minshew. Man, Minshew's been playing great. He's been uh, averaging... 21 fantasy points a game, 30 last week, then 22, 4, which was a terrible game, then 27. I, I think he's going to be a fine play against Houston that doesn't have Jadavian Clowney or J.J. Watt, who's out for the year. Derek Carr, send in the car. Uh, I think that he could be a fine play. He had 29 fantasy points this week, uh, 285 yards, three touchdowns. Last week, he played pretty decent as well, uh, 20 fantasy points. 293 yards and two touchdowns. He's going against the Lions. I actually think that they can keep this game pretty close, so it could have some shootout potential. So I think that Derek Carr is a fine start. Famous Jameis Winston. I know. I know, everybody. It's been it's been rough to watch. I mean, all those damn turnovers. Two interceptions. Two fumbles. Two games ago, five interceptions. One fumble. Like, I know. You don't have to watch the game. As Matthew Berry has said a thousand times, don't watch the game. Just accept that he's going to score fantasy points. There will be garbage time, and he's going to throw it up there. He will sling it. Uh, he had 25 fantasy points in last week's game, 300 yards, two touchdowns. The two picks and the two fumbles hurt you, but, I mean, when you're throwing for 302 touchdowns, I mean, I think he's a solid play against Seattle. I think that they're going to be coming from behind. I definitely assume that the Seattle Seahawks are going to be up by halftime by at least the score. So I think that James is going to have to throw it a little bit. They're not going to be able to run it. All right. And Sam Darnold. I know. I know. These last two games have been meh. Meh. Week seven, negative six fantasy points. But he was going against the Patriots. Now, last week, going against Jacksonville, 16 fantasy points. I think he injured his, injured his thumb. Uh, I'd watch out for that, but he's going against Miami. So, I mean, he should play well, right? So, uh, I, I think he's startable, and I think moving forward, he should have a better schedule. So, I think he'll be okay. The picks do concern me, though. Three picks last game, four picks the game before that, one pick the game before that. I mean, it's got to ring that in. All right, let's get to wide receivers. So, we're going to go with Devontae Parker, who I never thought that I would actually be recommending for anyone to start because... He's Devontae Parker. But, you know, he's been actually averaging pretty solid these last few games. Averaging, I don't know, at least 13 points a game the last three. 11, 16, 11. He's had a decent amount of targets. Last game he had 10 targets in week seven. I mean, he's getting aimed at. And Ryan Fitzpatrick is not afraid to sling the ball. So, I mean, I think that he's a pretty solid flex play. Uh, I've told y'all this so many times. I don't know if... You've listened, but on tape, man, he's pretty solid. He's pretty solid. He's not, like, going to break the bank or anything, but 11 fantasy points, 14, 9, 11. That's a solid wide receiver three. So I think that he's a good play and pick him up. Uh, Danny Amendola. These last two games have been fire. I'm talking fuego for my man who has been slept on for, I don't know, all of time. Last... Two weeks ago, 18 fantasy points. Last week, 17 fantasy points. The last two games, he's had eight receptions. He had 11 targets in week seven. That's that's solid wide receiver numbers right there. 105 yards, 95 yards. I think that he's a solid play against Oakland. That Their defense doesn't scare me, so I definitely think you could play him. Darius Slayton. My man had 19 fantasy points last week. I mean, he definitely had two touchdowns, so... That'll help. <laughs> but, I mean, needless to say, I think until Sterling Shepard comes back, he's a solid play. Anthony Miller has been looking well these last few weeks. I just want you to keep him on your radar. 
52, 52 yards, 64 yards, 67 yards. That doesn't sound like a lot, but you had a touchdown on top of that with his five, four, and three receptions. He had wide receiver three. All right, let's get to the running backs. Jalen Samuel is my running back one off the waiver wire. Well, here's the thing. Backups are important when the starter is out. And James Conner seems to get injured almost every game. He may play the next game, but every game I feel like he leaves towards the end. And it's just like, oh, he'll be fine for next week. He'll be fine for next week. How about you stay your butt on the field and be okay this week? He just runs so hard. So that leaves opportunity for Jalen Samuels. There's a chance that uh, James Conner doesn't go this week. And if he doesn't, I think Jalen Samuels is a top 10, top 15 play. Uh, Mark Walton, with the trade of Kenyon Drake, I believe Mark Walton uh, steps into a decent-sized role. I know that he's on Miami, and I really feel bad about giving you all these Miami people. But, I mean, you got to take what you can get at this point, and bye weeks are really hurting people. Falcons on bye, Rams on bye. Nobody cares about the Bengals, but they're on bye. There's one other team I'm missing. I'll remember before the end of this. All right, let's go to the next one. Jamal Williams has been playing fantastic over these last three games. 23 fantasy points, 12 fantasy points, 18 fantasy points. My man is solid, and it looks like that they're going to do a timeshare with Aaron Jones. Even though Aaron Jones is getting a majority of the looks, I feel like Jalen, uh, not Jalen, Jamal Williams actually will be a solid flex play. Uh, and then now we're getting into the backups that really should be owned but aren't really owned in most leagues alexander madison if dalvin cook goes down alexander madison will be a top five play he is very talented and that offensive line is solid and the vikings offense is not bad as some might say they should be getting adam Thielen back so they should be moving it up and down the field even if you don't have Dalvin Cook, I think holding Alexander Madison is a good choice. Uh, Daryl Henderson, a man had 11 attempts, 8 fantasy points. Not terrible, but I do think that he is carving himself out a little bitty role. So watch out for him. Also, Tony Pollard. Tony Pollard? Pollard? Yeah, I think that's how you say it. Uh, I think that he's a good add as well, with or without uh, Zekio Elliott, because if he goes down, everybody's going to be trying to get him. Same thing with Ty Montgomery. Uh, Raheem Mostart, I think, is actually pretty solid. I just say that because there's so many injuries in front of him. Tevin Coleman's going to get a majority of the touches, but if Braid is out and then Wilson's out, Mostart might get some love. Let's get down to tight ends. Darren Fells. The tight end landscape has been pretty terrible, but Darren Fells seems to be showing up. 16 fantasy points, 12, 4, 23. My man had two touchdowns last week. That's beast mode type stuff. Um, I definitely think he is a solid play in a landscape where tight end is pretty thin. Uh, Dallas Goddard. He's a backup. So I don't normally promote backup tight ends, but he's getting more love than uh, Zach Ertz. So... Definitely watch out for that. I actually like him. The last three weeks, nine points, 15, and then 11. Pretty, pretty solid. All right, let's get down to Ryan Griffin. Uh, I think Ryan Griffin is... So here's my thing on Ryan Griffin. He played great, but Chris Herndon's coming back. So how does the share change once Chris Herndon comes back? Is Chris Herndon going to get all that love? Is he going to get eased in? He's already gotten dinged up, so can you really even rely on, rely on him? I think that Chris Hearn is somebody that should be added, but I'm curious to see how they're going to move, work him into this offense. Joe New Smith. My man had 19 fantasy points this week. That's amazing. He um, He's talented, but he only really gets touches when Delaney Walker's out, so watch out for if Delaney Walker plays. But if he doesn't play, I think Joe New Smith is a solid uh, play against the Panthers. All right, we're going to get down to defenses. I'm going to make these a few quick. 
So we have Philadelphia playing the Bears. The Bears haven't had a very productive offense these last few weeks, so I think that that's a fine play. Seattle against the Bucks. I think that's a good play because Jameis Winston loves to throw throw turnovers apparently and fumble. And that's what you're really looking for. You're looking for sacks, which Jameis allows, and you're looking for picks and fumbles, which he definitely gives a plenty. So I think that's a fine play. Carolina, people have been sleeping on them. I think they're playing against the Titans will be very good for them. They are tied with the sack leader, so I think they'll be great. The Jets going against Miami. I don't really need to go too much into this. It's Miami. That being said, it's not as bad as when Rosen was playing. Fitz Magic is still a decent quarterback in the sense where he's going to sling it. You might get some sacks. You might get an interception or two, but my man's going to throw the ball. So he might throw up 14 to 21 points. And that's going to do it. Fantasy Bay, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any questions, hit me up. Uh, Don't forget to check out the rest of the videos I'm going to be putting up this week and the previous weeks. They're all still good. Uh, Mike Williams, Fantasy Bay, I'm out.